The names of St. Louis's new wave band sound like a return to the early days of the Beatles. They have names like the felons and the trained animals. Most play at dingy community halls trying to build an audience. The best known is a two-man band called Brown and Langerer. and songwriter Charlie Langerer says the new music has much to say about politics. That's part of its attraction. Listen, we don't need a war in El Salvador. If you want to give aid, give it to the poor. Since new wave music is inspired by some of the post-Watergate generation who become jaded about politics, many critics complain that the music is too negative, that it doesn't take a stand for anything. Langerer says that's changing. Some of the British groups, the two-tone groups, take a stand against racism. Uh, some of the groups that have women in them from Britain uh, take a stand against sexism. So I think we're, we're beginning to see people take a more positive, assertive attitude toward choosing a, a place. Langerer does fear that new wave fans in St. Louis are simply parroting fashions and music from other cities rather than creating something new. The people in St. Louis accept the fact that we're always five or ten years behind. Why don't we start our own uh, avant-garde here? Why don't we have our own uh, forefront of things? Why don't we set our own styles, have our own music and our own ways of dance and dress? There are rock rebels who still don outrageous punk hairdos, and more and more people are beginning to wear a mishmash of 50s and 60s clothing. Finding those relics from the recent past is becoming a big business. You'll see tomorrow night. B.B. Burns, Channel 2 News. Like a finger.